how to get unstuck. So I have an exercise and most of you, some of you will know it. If you know it, don't share it. So just dot on your papers, this nine dots and try to solve this as a riddle. Connect all the dots with no more than four straight lines without lifting your hand from the paper. We made an assumption that it was not in the instructions that we couldn't move outside the box. And this is a metaphor of what we do all the time in life. We make assumptions and then we get stuck. Part of coaching is actually really noticing what are the limiting untrue assumption that we make, and we make them all the time as you saw, that limit our thinking here and get us stuck. Yeah? Can we, can I hear some of these assumptions that we make that can get us stuck? Do we, do, can you think of anything we can make in day-to-day -day life, day-to-day -day work that are not true, but they limit us? I have some here that I come up often. I'm not blah enough. I'm not smart enough, I'm not tall enough, I'm not old enough, I'm not young enough. I can't. It's not up to me. Like people would relinquish control versus it's not true. I don't have the time, we saw that. That could be a limiting assumption. People will judge me if I do that. I don't deserve this. The last one is very often they, like, what we call imposter syndrome. At Google, they had done some research and 70% of people had imposter syndrome. Actually, yeah, I don't deserve being here. I'm not as smart as my colleagues or I shouldn't. Even Sheryl Sandberg, the CEO of Facebook, said she suffered from imposter syndrome for years. So this is a very common one. I don't deserve to, to have this success. I'm going to share you another tool. We, share, we so grow. I'm going to share you another tool. How to deal with these assumptions. Re yeah, ready to, to hear it. This is really cool. Uh, first of all is identify these assumptions and I have it here something you can do for yourself like this is all you can do for yourself you can do it in coaching what am I assuming that is limiting my thinking here so when you feel stuck try to write down all the assumptions okay I want to ask this but my assumption is it will ruin the relationship it will never work um, and the key question this is one of my favorite coaching question is after you identify the assumptions is I will ask is that true and that's all you need to do. Just ask, is that true? And usually the limiting assumptions are not true. Truth usually will not get you stuck. Like if there's a, a, a real limitation, if this person is sick and you cannot talk to them, if it's a real today, it's a fact. It will, will not get you stuck. You will be creative and say, okay, I cannot talk to that. Or can I talk to other person using your example? Usually what will get you stuck is a lie. So just this question, is that true? Is it true that if I ask him this, if I ask my boss for a promotion or that it will ruin your, our relationship? And then you replace the assumption with the more liberating one and one clo is closest to the truth. And it could be one is, I don't know what will happen. That's a better assumption. <laughs> it could be, actually, if I share this, our relationship would be better because there will be more honesty. Using your example, do I share this with the colleague? Actually, let's do that. I like that. Yes, I was being stuck, not asking this. My assumption that it will ruin a relationship. The truest assumption after you explore is actually it will help the relationship because there will be more honesty between us. And you close the, the, the exploration with, if you knew that the relationship would be better because you'll be more honest, what would you do? So you, you always finish with, or how would you feel, depending on what the client wants. If there's an action oriented, what would you do? Another example is time. People say, oh, I don't have the time. Is it true? That, that never stands the, the light of day, that assumption. Because what is, and then they say, oh, no, actually it's not true. What is the true assumption? That I can restructure my time. I'm in control of this part of my time. So if you knew you were in control, what would you do? That's how it works.